hello everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel so today we are going to discuss another problem but before going forward if you not like the video please like it subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified when i post a new video so without any further ado let's get started so problem is excel sheet column number will be given a string column title that represents the column title as appear in an excel sheet we need to return its corresponding column number so what is there in the a problem will be given a string and you need to return the corresponding column number for example a will be 1 b will be 2 c will be 3 so on till z will be 26 and then we have two letters then it will be 27 28 so let's see how this is working see what uh, see these first when we have single letters so that is very like straight forward that c will be 3 d will be 4 then z will be 26 Now let's see for this A A. When we have A A, so for this A A, output should be twenty seven. That is the corresponding column number is twenty seven for this column string. So how this twenty seven is coming? See, initially uh, we will start. Uh, let's say here we will be having zero. Right, initial value will take as zero. So what will happen? Zero multiplied by twenty six. Plus, what is this? This is a will be what one? So this will be something like this. Zero multiplied by twenty six plus one. So this will be one. So this will be one. And then for this second a, what this one will be? This one will be again multiplied by twenty six plus what is this a? A is uh, one. So this will be twenty six into one. 26 plus 1, 27. That is what we are doing for each letter. For each letter, what we are doing, we are multiplying the result with 26, and then we are adding the corresponding number for that letter. Right. So that is like the character minus s k of a plus 1. You'll understand. See. So for example, when we have 40, when we have 40. So how do we represent it? We write it four into ten. We write four into uh, we write four into ten plus zero into one, right? Something like this we do. So over here, let's say we have uh, um, we have let's say three um, twenty. So how do we write three twenty? We write three into hundred plus two into ten plus zero into one. something like this we represent right similarly each letter here we will multiply it by 26 for example let's take uh, example of ab when we have ab so for that what we will do see this for this a what will be the result uh, initially result we will start as zero so current value is zero so zero which is the current value into 26 plus this one a One because of this a. So this thing is only for this a. That is twenty six into zero plus one zero, uh, one. Now we have this b also. So what will happen? This is the result now. Now result is one. So one result into again we will do twenty six plus now this b. This b. So b is two. So twenty six into twenty six plus two will be twenty eight. so that is for ab we have 28 that is what we are doing we are multiplying the result we have this result result multiplied by 26 plus the current character current character number so this is the formula we are using let's take few more examples so it will be more clear let's say we have this a b c so for this c initially number will be 0 so what we do we do uh, rest into 26 plus the current character number so result 0 into 26 we are doing for this a 0 into 26 plus current character current character is a so a is was 1 so this will come out to be 1 then for b so now we'll do for b so b will be what now result is 1 this is equal to result so result is now 1 Now one into 
again result is what 1 1 into 26 plus current character current character is what b so b is what is 2 so 26 into 2 26 into 1 plus 2 is equal to 28 so this will be 28 now result will be 28 so this is for this number till till now now we go for c so for c what will be the output uh, res is what 28 multiplied by 26 plus current characters count so c is what 3 so 28 into 26 will be somewhat uh, 728 something plus 3 will be 731 so abc will be column number for abc string will be 731 so i hope you understood how we are doing this so this is the uh, approach we will be following so let's see the code it's very simple problem so see we have taken result initially as 0 we are going to each letter we are starting from 0 index that is we are starting from this index this is a string right 0 1 2 this is a string so we are starting from the 0 index and we are going till end and we will be updating we will be calculating this res using this formula res is equal to res into 26 plus the current numbers current letters count so that is first of all we are multiplying the result with 26 that is res into 26 and then we are adding it in in it we are adding the current uh, letters count so current this will be the current character minus capital a so we are calculating the sky this is the sky value we will be min uh, doing minus with the uh, capital a is a sky value and then we are doing plus one so see how see how it, this is working so what we are doing over here see uh, we are taking the current character so let's say we have abc and current character uh, is b, this is b so we are f uh, calculating for b so what will be b's count b is 2 na so see how this will come b's a sky value is 66 capital a is a sky value is 65 let's assume let, let's assume so uh, capital b is a sky value is 66 so we will be doing 66 minus this this column title i will give the sky value of the current character so a sky value of current character which is b is 66 minus capital a is a sky value which is 65 so this will give us 1 but b b is 2 because a is 1 so b is 2 so we will do plus 1 so that we get 2 all right so here plus 1 we are doing that way. that's why so after this loop we will get the result in this result uh, variable and then we can return it so i hope you understood the problem and the approach time complexity is fairly simple it's o of n where n is the length of string and o of 1 is the space complexity um, java code will be in the description and let me know if you have any doubt in the comment section if you found the video helpful please like it subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video